Hello guys, this is Sarsanchi and today I bring to you a quick guide on how can you set up Hawks Hood and Poker Hood to work at the same time in your Payday 2 game. So first go to our community page on Steam and type Poco Mods and search for that. The first community there is Poco Mods, so you can click here. Now go to the discussions tab. On the right side you can find downloads. And it's the pinhead thread Poco Hood download. So you click there and click in the archive like link. Sorry. And now it's gonna load a dropbox drop box page so you can look at the largest number after Pokerhood. It's gonna be the latest release. So download this. Now get back to your Steam community page and search for Hawkshood. It's gonna be this first Steam group show, Hawkshood. So let's click here. And one important thing about the Hawkshood is that you need to join the group first to be able to use the Hawkshood in game. So don't forget to join the group. Then you go to discussions, and on the right side you can go for downloads. It's a pinhead thread, so you can choose between the automatic auto install and the manual. I'm gonna choose the manual so I can show you guys how to do it. Just hit the download button and the file is gonna be downloaded. You're gonna need some form of software to open these files because one is .zip and another one is .7z so I use WinHar so let's open first the Pokerhood zipped file Now it's the important part of the video. Hawkshood and Pokerhood have this uh, DLL with the exactly same name. So if you want them work together, you need to use the Hawkshood DLL. So we will ignore this file in Pokerhood installation folder. So we got all of the other files and we drag and drop to our Payday 2 folder. That's located usually on program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Payday 2. So now let's do the same with Foxhood, but this time we will use the DLL, so let's get the files and drag and drop them into your Payday 2 folder. And that's it, they are installed. Next step is set up in-game settings now we are running the game you just need to hit the backspace button to open Pokerhood settings so let's do this now you can go the upside on the options and this first screen shows use the buff icons the default settings they will be displayed on the 
left upper side of the screen so I like to change mine to the middle of the screen it's kind of personal you can use my settings and try it out see if you like it on the right side it shows which buffs is gonna be displayed you can mark them it's really personal you can choose which ones you wanna see in game and this max FPS part is not related to the game FPS it's just the Pokerhood FPS so you don't need to set this to a higher number around 20 or 30 should be pretty good uh, now is the tricky part it's gonna be the chat part Pokerhood default settings spawns a lot of messages in chat for you and for other people in your game so I like to turn most of them off except for the downed warning so when somebody get downed three times it shows me a message in chat so I can tell my teammates to go patch up before you go into custody and there is a couple of different settings for every one of these You can choose to show them to no one, like I did, only me, or everyone, if you are the host. And you can check here in the upper left corner all the possible options for each one of the messages in chat. Just remember, people don't like a lot of chat spans, so turn them off, please. The other settings is really personal. You can unmark the FPS or the clock out game. I don't like them, so I just unmark this both settings. On the floating labels, I really didn't change anything, and in game mechanics, I removed the truncate tags because if you keep this market and it's the default settings, it removes all players' tags. So if you have a team tag or something like that, it's gonna be removed. You won't see in game. These three bottom settings it's related to crime net settings if you toggle this align criminal crime net it's gonna show you the crime net icons of the highs very aligned and on the left side is gonna be the normal highs and in the left in the right side i'm sorry it's gonna be the death wish highs also you can change the size of the highs icons in the crime net I like to set mine to 90% the default it's 80% and the heat indicator is very personal people some people like to use the hox hood indicator so you can disable hox hood heat indicator or vice versa I prefer poke hood heat indicator so so let's go to the hox hood options now Hoxwood has a bunch of options, the same as Pokerhood, so it's really personal how do you want to set up stuff. I will show you how I set up my Hoxwood. So let's get started with the main options. In the main options, I think I have the default settings except the show kill counters because I prefer the poker hood kill counter so unmark one kill counters on poker hood or on hawks hood on hawks hood extra options there is this auto pick card at the payday 
and they also continue missions at the end screen so it's a really personal if you want to let them mark it or not but really quickly the game already decided the, what you are gonna get from the card so you can let this market and you won't be losing anything now is the part that I changed because I use Pokehood hit indicator so I unmark enemy health and civilian health the middle I like to keep marked because when you unmark this option by the end of the heist it's gonna show you a very low total damage and that kind of stuff so if you keep this show enemy health x10 marked it's gonna make sense if you are based on your damage the damage that your weapon you are using so I like to keep this marked it's just easier to understand what happened after the game so let's move to enemy damage counters I also use Pokehood damage indicator so I unmark it all the three Foxwood settings the visual options is kind of when you the, do a headshot with a high caliber weapon the head of the enemy just blow and the icons here you can mark or unmark which one you want to see in your screen it's really personal so that's it guys now you know how to set up both of the hoods at the same time in your game so have fun if you like this guide please hit the subscribe button right below and you can check us live at twitch.tv slash paydatingevil so guys stay evil see you later